<laughs> Hi everyone. I know I'm looking pretty scary right now, right? Very scary. Cause I'm just, I'm doing two or three things at one time. But I just want to do this quick tutorial today on um, Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Yeah, my hair, I, I wear wigs, you guys, it's, you know, kind of obvious. Hello, wig in the background. I don't put on my wig until after, um, after I put on a full face, because the wig just will get in the way. So anyway, I am going to try to give you guys a look at um, the Urban Decay's Naked Skin. I bought this in um, shade 12, which I think is the darkest shade that they carry. I bought it from Ulta. I believe it was $36, $38. Um, I've used it all week. And I got to say, I, I like it. I did definitely think I'll be using this more during the winter because <clears throat> even in the state of Florida, we do get dry. It does get dry here, and my face gets very dry here during the winter. So the cap on D is very drying. <clears throat> and this is more supposed to leave you with a dewy complexion. And it really does. It does. So first things first. I've already moisturized my skin with my Dermalogica Active Moist, which is what I use as a moisturizer. And then I go back and I use a sample. I have a sample of Too Faced Primed and Poreless, which I love. And just rub that into the skin. <laughs> okay, so, you know, of course you want to give that a moment to soak in, and today I'm going to use one of my new brushes, and this new brush is from Coastal Scents, it's nameless, I don't know the name, it never came with a name on it. But it's very similar to the brush that Urban Decay uses to apply their foundation. So, it takes um, a few drops of this to make it work. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it's way more liquidy than any foundation. Well, me. My NARS foundation is pretty liquidy like this. I could just see how it just drips. I don't like that. But anyway, I'm going to apply. All right. Buff it into the skin really nice. Again, pop a little bit more. I get underneath my chin really well because you have to. Just can't stand it when. People don't blend it into their chin. It just looks so bad. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Now for my forehead. You say we have to wear foundation, you feel normal. I do, I feel so much better. Okay, oh, I love this stuff, you guys. It's pretty good for. I love this brush, this brush is incredible, like it's, it just goes on so easily. And now, of course, this is buildable, um, buildable coverage. Some, some of us girls like full coverage. I know I do. I'm a sucker for full coverage foundation. Okay. Making sure the screen isn't picking up any spottiness. Now, it seems like on my screen, it looks very yellow, but it's not. 
because I'm looking at it in real time and it's, it matches my skin perfectly. Crazy what cameras do, right? Okay. So, from there, you know, I put on my concealer, which is I use Pink Opal. Um, Pink Opal's tan. Now they say you can, they recommend that you use their, um, their translucent powder that they have. And I have it, but <clears throat> I'd rather use a matte, one of the ones that I do have. I only really wear their translucent powder when I'm out and about, and it's always in my purse, you know, so. Highlight, contour. All right, you guys. So that's it. Next time you see me, I'll have everything on. So stay tuned.